Hi there, Gemini, Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So June um, is a is a month with a lot of retrograde happening in the skies, and everything is in focus on you, Gemini, at this time. So with all of the retrogrades happening, this clearly means that there's a lot of things that we need to decide on, decide on and reconsider and think about so it might feel like a very very slow month for you guys but um, it actually has a purpose in mind so we will try to um, get some information on what is to come for you in terms of your love life and relationships now the first card of your reading showing off here is the world card so this is about you um, maybe experiencing a lot of opportunities you know you might see that there's a lot of opportunities being presented to you and you might be feeling this maybe since last month or the past few months there are a lot of things that you, you are seeing clearly opening up your eyes and maybe you have you know thinking about visions to your future on what you want um, to happen in your life you know it's not just about relationship it's about your personal aura your personal drive what makes you feel fulfilled in life as a whole and it's being crossed over by the justice card so a lot of you guys Gemini out there might be you know at the verge of making some form of decision a decision that that maybe um, involves a contract a relationship something very serious something that you know is not something to take on very lightly actually since um, this could be you know a commitment of some sort maybe it's an overseas commitment uh, um, overseas across uh, across land you know a long distance relationship maybe you're thinking about all of this or um you are just you know thinking to stabilize and reharmonize whatever relationships that you have at this time so i feel that there is a lot of positive energy being given to you with this because we do have the chariot card and the cheer the pleasure seekers card here in the past scenario we're in it it is being shown to us that recently things have been really working out very well for you and you know you feel as if there is a, a huge surge of positive emotions positive experiences all happening for you and maybe for some of you guys you are having you know a lot of suitors around you or it could be you know uh, your social life is quite active at the same time and even though we do have this lockdown um, scenario happening in different countries around the world um, this could be you know happening through the internet you know Gemini is a very social sign so even a lockdown cannot stop you from communicating and talking to different people all those kinds of things so um, maybe you're experiencing, you know, having flings, flirting, um, having some really fun conversations with different kinds of people. And maybe you are now thinking of, you know, committing yourself with one person or maybe having the drive of being in a relationship again after such a long time, you know, of being on singlehood, that kind of thing and this is something that you are really really thinking about very closely but the thing here is that you know it it's like giving us a fair warning to not be very impulsive with your own decision making especially when it comes to relationships we do have the moon in aries in the fifth house over here at the as the, at, with our astro dice and this is about you know the energy of i want it now and I want it fast and the moon in Aries is a very reactive energy reactive sign basically 
and whether they are reacting for good or for bad <laughs> they just love to react and they're they they don't really think too much you know what you see is what you get i like this and this is what i want and i'm gonna do it right now and the justice card is really more about being responsible with things so i kind of feel that whatever you are wanting to get yourself into you know the passionate feelings that you have is very important of course but i feel that it's also important to take into consideration if you are sure with things or not especially if you are trying to pursue someone or trying to be in a relationship again with someone or trying to dabble in with a relationship with someone you know that you shouldn't be playing around with you know those kinds of things you need to be more responsible and you know not everything is fun in games basically <laughs> just to you know give you guys the nutshell of things this is not a time for fun in games you need to be more serious with things and you cannot just say i like you today and tomorrow i suddenly change my mind so it's not about that so the clue here is for you to take your time in actually knowing the person and trying to find out yourself if this if this is the re relationship that you really really want if that is the person that you actually really really want as well so this can also manifest in such a way that you know there could be you might meet someone or you might be having thoughts of being in a relationship with someone that you know you actually have you know a past life with you know something very karmic this is also going to be activating your 12th house since we do have a new moon in cancer i believe or uh, yeah a, a lunar eclipse showing up in the cancer node or in the gemini node around those areas and i haven't really checked my chart yet but um yeah the mercury retrograde is definitely going to be happening in in the sign of cancer so that those are the area cancer and gemini is definitely going to be the area that is going to be highly affected and this is going to trigger your 12th and first house so when we talk about the 12th house this is the unseen forces this is something to do with the past the consciousness uh is something sometimes it's also the unexpected scenario that kind of thing so um yeah but uh we do have here the knight of wands being shown as your personal aura of the reading so it's telling us here that you know um something is definitely um triggering you to act and maybe there is something that you really really want at this time and it could be a person or a relationship it's just that you know i kind of feel here that you know everything is becoming too good to be true and like they say if it's too good to be true during neptune times maybe it is so you just need to uh, take things into cons consideration first um, and sometimes uh, this factor of being too good to be true is actually a nice thing it's just that uh, it's more of a question if you're ready to tackle on things or not or are you really sure that this is what you want can you really handle this because it, it makes you feel as if you know there's really something fun and invigorating that you are feeling at this time but i kind i kind of feel that there are challenges to it it's just that you don't see it at, at this time that kind of energy so this is the time for you to really really make a decision to really think about the pros and cons of a situation before you actually make a certain decision especially when the wheel of fortune shows up in the near future position it's like um in the future position it's either telling you to wait or it's telling you that the wheel of fate is now moving forward so whatever has been paused in your life in the past is now turning 
to move forward in the direction that is really favorable to you especially that we do have really wonderful cards here if you are single i kind of feel that this is about you entering a new relationship very very soon and again with all of the retrogrades happening in the skies especially at the first half of the month of june venus is going to be still invisible so that is really not uh a favorable time in entering a new relationship at this time you might change your mind later on or something surprising might happen that you know can set you off guard so just a fair warning for everyone else but definitely uh, i feel here that a lot of you guys are wanting to enter a relationship this month is going to be about you figuring out things. I kind of feel that there is actually some form of confusion in your mind or confusion in the situation that you are in. And it's not real the confusion is not going to vibrate throughout the entire month, but um it's like you're finding answers. You're finding answers to a certain scenario. And the whole month of June is going to help you untangle the pieces, untangle the, the puzzle for you to see things clearly, those kinds of things. Definitely, our outcome card here is the Two of Swords and along with the man the lord and the thinking card. So there's really something that you really need really need to think about, you know if you are sure about things or not but definitely we are seeing here that something good can really come along with your life you know um, even though that it may feel as if everything is a pause for everyone it feels as if things with you is just progressing it feels as if everything that you're feeling is going to be you know happy joyful and harmonious at the same time you might feel that you know amidst all of these uncertainties around the world you might feel that everything is actually you know giving you hidden opportunities hidden um gems you know it's like a diamond in the rough kind of feeling so there are a lot of opportunities that can come for you as well i really feel that for many gemini's out there you might have an encounter with a soulmate or you know maybe reunions with people with friends old friends or whether you know them or not you know you could actually have a chance to mingle with like-minded people and whether they come to your life as friends or lovers that is going to be a different story as a whole but there is perks and advantages in all of this as well so um yeah right now it's all about you trying to enjoy life and enjoy yourself in the process just make sure that you know the thin line between enjoyment and getting serious you know uh, seeing what is friends and what is lovers all at the same time and try not getting ahead of yourself so um yeah you might see might feel that you know there is something serious in the energy of june despite the fact that this month is all about you know all about um like the overall energy of the month of june for you is all about fun but at the same time you are slightly seeing that things are actually getting serious and something is definitely going to make you think something is definitely going to make you think of what is the best action to take and i feel that this is something that all signs are going to go through one way or another because of the lunar eclipse happening in the month of june all of the retrogrades everything is really internalized but for you in particular i kind of feel that this is you know going to be an important step as you move forward with your life again so again this is june is going to be very important for all of us especially for you because i kind of feel that for some of you guys this can be an important step to a relationship whether you're single in a relationship or in a marriage it's like you're stepping up to a whole new sector a whole new chapter to deepening some form of bond in a relationship if you are single though which is what i assume with how the reading goes you know if you're single or looking for someone to be with you know in a stable relationship i kind of feel that you're already eyeing someone it's just that i don't know what's going to happen in that relationship you know because 
it's really more about figuring out yourself whether you're really in love with a with a person or you're just being if you're just having fun as friends you know figuring out friends from lovers you know a friendship from a real relationship so just make sure you're not getting confused with that and saying things like pursuing someone and then later on changing your mind that can really happen especially with the retrograde like you know suddenly i am decide i am already decided that this is what i want and then suddenly you sudden you know you you change your mind for whatever reason and that can create can most likely create complications here and there um and at one point you also don't want to regret the decisions that you're making right so um yeah uh right now it's better to play safe and don't like give a final answer to anyone at all but take this time to enjoy the process of your relationships and you know just have fun this is basically the the whole energy of your reading it's time for you to have fun know the person and if you already know them deepen the bond that you have with them because you know you'll never know where that relationship is gonna lead because i kind of feel that there's actually some form of good luck being sent your way during this time especially into your relationships again what relationship you have or situation that seems very stuck can be you know can be all of those blockages and obstacles is now being entangled one by one and you can actually make a connection with someone very important in your life it could be a past life person a past lover or you know it could be you know with someone very important maybe you know a relationship overseas that kind of thing can also happen you're thinking about bonding with someone thinking of someone thinking of a relationship and really taking it on a serious level it's just that you know again take your time and don't be very impulsive know the difference of fun 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 and flirting from love and commitment that is the most important thing for you guys gemini so um yeah uh if you guys get a clear picture on that i don't think that it's going to be a confusing month and you will be ready to, to what is to come for you as july enters the scene because july is the month we're in you know everything you'll have no time to decide at all once J july happens because everything is just going to be happening all forward so take this time to decide and and to really know what you want really know the person and really make sure that you know the decision that you are going to make take them as a point wherein there's no turning back so you need to make a decision very very carefully analyze them if you will so um yeah um there's definitely something that you need to think about seriously other than that it's all fun it's all you know it's really a time for enjoyment for a lot of gemini's out there regardless of the retrogrades that are happening it's like you know it's it is maybe because there are a lot of retrogrades we're in which is why you will be thinking much more than usual which is why you might be trying to communicate much more than usual as well you are trying to figure out a lot of things and you will figure out a lot of them also and no matter what answer that may lead you i believe that it has some form of a gift from god like good opportunities and you know blessings are being shown over onto this reading like there's just a lot of it <laughs> so um yeah um this is my reading for you guys gemini it is a very happy reading uh full of you know zest and harmonious energy as a whole and i'm happy for you because of that um yeah so Thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and I'll see you guys next month. Again, if you'd like a more personal look into your own situation and reading, you can do so by booking a session with me from my website in the stars by I'll see you guys next month. Goodbye.